We're back again. Gunas in Vancouver post-match reactions on Canon Fodder TV. Aston Villa 1, Arsenal 0. You know what my reaction is to that match? That ain't good enough. I thought that performance was unacceptable. You do the hard part, right? You go out there, you do the hard part. You beat, you beat the best club in the world. Liverpool. And then you follow it up with a majestic performance against one of the best teams in Europe, in Man City. And then you stroll off to Aston Villa thinking you've cracked it. You know, you're the big time Charlie Potatoes all of a sudden. And you can't get a result against the Aston Villa team that's battling relegation. And you only have to look back at some of the games that Aston Villa have had and seen some of the, 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 the score lines that they've, uh, that they've suffered. I'm sure Chelsea put three past them. Yeah, that's the one that comes off the top of my head. Was it one shot on target for the whole of the 90 minutes or was it zero shots on target? Either way, whether it's one shot or zero shots, no, no. No, 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 no. It's, it's just unacceptable. What could be the cause of this? For me, it tells me that we have, you know, you know that I've mentioned the, uh, the sinners of seven sisters, as someone called them. I called them the tragic five. You know, it shows me that we have got players in our squad that don't, they, they either don't have the technical ability or the mental fortitude, or maybe a little bit from column, a little bit from column A and column B, to put out consistent performances week in week out. Look at the look at the firepower that we had on the pitch. Lacazette, Aubameyang, Saka, and Ketia. We can't we can't get any shots on target. I was going to say, in a way, I'm glad. And I'm not glad, but I'm trying to find something. Um, I'm clutching. And if the people that are in charge of the purse strings at Arsenal were backslapping and whooping because of the last two results and thinking that, you know, all of our prayers had been answered and our problems had been solved, then today's match was a serious reality check. A serious reality check and if I was Mikel Arteta I would be hugely disappointed with that performance today we went back to the old Arsenal that I know kicking the ball backwards you know I think it was something like a minute to go a minute to go and we're chasing the game Xhaka is right up outside their penalty box and what does he do he turns around and passes the ball backwards mate you've got to get the ball in the back of the net do you know what I mean? It's goals that win your games, not passing averages. So we go into the next game now. I think our last league game against Watford. Another team that's scrapping for relegation. And I've got a feeling that Troy Deeney was probably rubbing his hands and the old uh, comment about Arsenal not having big enough cojones was probably running around in his head. We've got to go and put this right. At the moment, I think that's it for Europe now, unless there's a way through via the FA Cup. But in the league, that's gone. That's gone. Some poor performances today. That first goal that Aston Villa scored, their, first, their goal, that was sloppy. You know, Cedric should have been in there closing him down, closing Trezeguet down. He shouldn't have been able to have been allowed to get that shot off. And I noticed that even after that, when they saw what happened, all of the attacks came down their right side on our left side. So they saw what happened with the goal and they didn't learn their lesson. And they had a couple of other chances and you know what? If it wasn't that Aston Villa's finishing was worse than ours, then we could have been, you know, two, maybe three nil down. It was almost a little bit as well how 
Man City it's defended in in uh, in in numbers against sorry how we defended it against Man City in numbers and trying to break them down. Aston Villa done exactly the same to us. We had such a high line, and the danger of playing that high line when you've got them hemmed in. Try and move the ball forward, not backwards or sideways. Yeah, you've, you've got to be decisive because a couple of times, if the ball pops out, and you've got someone like Grealish who's on the breakaway, we're stuffed at the back. We're stuffed. Yeah, we don't have a lot of defenders that have pace. A very disappointing day at the office for Arsenal. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree of, uh, of what I'm saying here. And we'll be back after the Watford game. First time coming by Canon for the TV. Don't for forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And we'll see you after the next one. Bye.